Hey friends, Mike here. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm not really a fan of vlogs, video blogs in general, but um, a lot of things I want to tell you about. So I've got a list of them here and we're just going to go through and, and hit them one by one and hopefully this will only take about five minutes. All right, we'll get started. First of all, 2018 it was a pretty good year for um, the YouTube channel. Lost my mic. One second. Okay, so 2018 was a pretty good year for the YouTube channel. Started off the year with uh, about uh, 1,500 or so subscribers and went up to about um, 5,000. By the end of the year, we were at 5,000. Uh, we did a lot of projects. We did a lot of uh, trips and adventures, sort of a whole mix of content. I had 71 videos posted in 2018. So that's pretty good. Favorite place. So our favorite place that we visited in 2018 is probably a toss up between School Bus Canyon, which you've seen in previous videos, two previous videos, and a place called Levitt Lake, which you've seen in several videos. Um, I didn't really talk about it too much in those videos. It's a beautiful alpine lake um, in California in the Sierra Nevadas, and we'll definitely be going back there next year. So look for footage of that coming up. Project. So we did a project with the cargo deck in the Forerunner, um, the simple cargo deck that I built. That video for that has gotten over 100,000 views. It's my first video that's really gone big like that. I know a lot of other channels, 100,000 views is, is not, nothing, but uh, it's a pretty big deal for me. So thank you for all you have watched it. The cool thing about that, though, is that a lot of people have actually built their own version of that cargo deck. Um, either pretty much a straight duplicate or have modified it in some way and they've shared those photos with us on Instagram. So it's pretty cool seeing um, my idea and taken and, and sort of built upon and other people sort of uh, doing their own thing with it. It's really great. Love to see that stuff. If you built your own, be sure to post a picture somewhere we can see it. So the other video that sort of went big, it's got about 50,000 views at this point in time, which I know is not like a huge amount for most YouTubers, but it's a lot for me. Um, is the one we did a walk around of our Forerunner, um, and I titled it the Minimalist Overlander. And I think calling it a Minimalist Overlander was clickbait to a certain extent, and that's okay. Um, I know minimalism is kind of a hot word, and so is Overlander, so that video did really well. There's a couple things about that video I wanted to discuss. Comments. So I got mostly, honestly, 99% of the comments are positive. People are like, right on. Good for you for, for doing sort of the everyman build on a vehicle. It's nice to see a normal person overland vehicle, <clears throat> which is great, except for being called a normal person. Um, everything's great about that. There's a couple of negative comments. Some of those negative comments, though, have been sort of about how it's not a real overland vehicle. It's not the kind of vehicle you could take to South America for a month or live out of in Africa for a year. And that's very true. That is very true. Um, basically, what they're, what they're saying is that it's not overlanding, it's camping, which is also true. What's funny about that though is that a lot of the criticism of sort of the old school crowd about overlanding being a fad is that, hey, we've been doing this for the last 50 years. You drive out in the middle of nowhere, you camp out, you get up in the morning, you do it again, and we didn't have all this fancy gear and all these fancy terms. Yes, that's true. Um, on the other hand, a lot of guys are building out um, pretty spectacular vehicles, spending a lot of time and energy and money, and they probably feel like guys like uh, me driving just a regular, more or less a regular vehicle are sort of like cheating the system, which is, which is fine too. Um, but I can tell you what we've done in our vehicle that I consider overlanding. We've done you know, multi-day trips in Death Valley. We've done multi-day, we've done the Mojave Road. Uh, we've done multi-day overland trips in central Nevada. And hell, we used to do multi-day overland trips in central Nevada in our Subaru. So I can tell you that um, anything that you can drive out in the middle of nowhere in is an overland vehicle as far as I'm concerned. But that brings me to another thing. You may have seen me talk about not overlanding. This is 
this is about like 2019 is going to be the year of not overlanding. Um, and not overlanding is, is basically anything that the purists don't see as true to the core of overlanding. Um, if you don't have traction mats, if you don't have um, a winch, if you don't have bumpers and a bunch of stuff on your roof, that's not overlanding, but you're still out there, you're doing everything that they're doing and perhaps even more. Um, different kinds of overlanding. We do a lot of day tripping, honestly. Uh, day tripping is, we live in Nevada. I mean, we can get out to the middle of nowhere in, in just an hour or two time. It's really easy to get out and explore and you can be just as, as, as stranded out there as you could be anywhere in the world, really. Nobody's coming along for a while on some of these dirt roads. Base camping is another thing we do a lot. That's where we go somewhere, we set up camp, and then we take tours um, during the day, either uh, by bike or hiking or um, rock climbing or uh, doing overland tours during the day. So we do a lot of base camping, and that's a good way to get a whole lot of activity in without a whole lot of driving. We like getting out and running around and doing the things and having fun. Group tours. So we did a number of group tours. Uh, we did one in 2018 and we did one on New Year's Day, so two, one in last year, but that's gonna be something we're gonna start doing more of um, this year in 2019. Group tours, basically it's the day trip and we put it out there to our Facebook group and to our YouTube channel and Instagram and say, hey, if you wanna join us on this trip, here's what it's gonna be like, here's how long it's gonna take, here's where we're gonna go. And uh, so far we've, we've done two trips and we've gotten a total of 13 vehicles on each trip, families and, and single people's retirees. Um, as long as you're down with, with the all-terrain family vibe of having fun and stopping a lot and getting out of the car and doing things, you're welcome to come on these trips with us. Just check out the Facebook page and stay tuned here for more information on that. Upcoming tours. So uh, I've got some ideas of places we could go, places we want to go. Um, so we'll think about that in the new year. What do you think of like uh, Seven Troughs Mine? Uh, might have some pictures of that. We've got, I've got an idea to go out to Sand Mountain um, as a group tour and maybe even Berlin Ichthyosaur. Those are all great Northern Nevada destinations that are easy to get to and uh, have a lot of potential to explore, um, to explore and do really cool things. Uh, so revenue, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the, the ads you see on videos here on YouTube. I'm sure everybody knows this score there. Basically, um, YouTube uh, serves up ads based on um, you know the content that I provide and what they know about you. And they serve those ads, you watch the ads, and I get a cut of that. And um, if you want to get around that, the best way is to um, subscribe to YouTube Premium. That's what we do here at home. We watch a lot of YouTube content we never see ad so it's great um, started off this year I was doing between 20 and 30 dollars um, a month in revenue um, from those ads and come around to the new year um, with the videos I mentioned earlier that are doing a lot better all of the videos on the channel are doing a lot better and so um, we're getting about 250 to 300 um, over a 28 day period in revenue um, from those ads so thank you for watching Patreon. So the other source of income that we have from these videos, of course, we both have uh, full-time jobs, is uh, from Patreon. And Patreon is a basically like a blog, but you get to um, sort of fund us directly. You don't have to go through the ads on YouTube, and you don't. Um, uh, of course, Patreon gets a cut, but I get a cut too. So I have at this point we have four patrons. And we're getting about seven dollars a month in uh, support, which I, it's not a lot. We certainly appreciate um, those patrons that we have, and we thank you very much. If you want to join up there, you'll get some stickers and some merch, and you'll get videos early um, when I can get them out early, and um, you'll the, the, you'll get access to all the GPS tracks and waypoints for all the places that we go, either with the group tours or um, independently. Merch. So the other thing that you can do to support us, if you're interested in doing that, is check out our website, um, All Terrain Family, sorry, AllTerrainFam.com, and that's where you can find this hat, which this is the patch hat. So there you go. You can put take the patches and put them right there. You can switch out. You have one hat, and you can have a different patch on it every day. I think it's pretty cool, and some people that have seen it think it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't sold too many of them, but um, we'll see. These were uh, these are Richardson hats. I had them this 
Relcro sewn on them here in Reno. Um, I'll probably find a different solution, maybe do it myself in the future, um, but it's really cool and it works really well. So the other bit of merch that we're going to do is um, there's an artist, a local Reno artist, her name is Haley Hoff, and you can find her here on YouTube and on um, Instagram. I'll post a link. Anyway, I traded some work with her. I did a little bit of video animation for her and she designed um, a sticker slash patch for me. Here it is. So um, I'm going to have these printed into stickers and hopefully have them printed into patches. Patches are a little bit more expensive, but you definitely do the stickers. So if you're interested in one of these stickers, let me know and uh, I'll get them printed out and, and we'll get you one. All right, all right, we're getting down to the wire here. This is one more thing. Um, thank you for following. Thanks for following the adventure. Thanks for all your comments. Um, thanks for sharing uh, your ideas. Thanks for joining the group. Um, thanks for being so positive and cool and having fun and uh, following along. We certainly appreciate it and it's great to have you on the adventure. So the last thing is, since this is a vlog, um, I gotta do the vlog thing of doing a poster frame. So basically that's the, the picture that you saw before you click the video to know what to watch. Um, I just select that from one of the frames of the video. And I usually sort of pour over the video when we're doing something cool to find the great epic poster frame and put the text on it and spend a bit of time doing it. But for a vlog, you gotta have like the cool vlog look. So I'm gonna go through a couple poses here. You just stare and watch, don't you have to do anything and uh, we'll see which one I chose. Ready? Oh yeah, I like that one, that one's good. I'll put like a uh, not overlanding right over here in big white type. There you go. All right, well, if you thought this was completely stupid, please let me know and I will never do one again um, if you thought it was interesting. Um, it's easy enough to do as long as I don't do all that whiskey thing at the beginning. Um, anyway, enjoy your week. Happy trails. Thanks for joining us and uh, I'll see you on the trail. Yeah.